we got a pretty nice one down here. Really dark bass because it came out of blue dyed water. Hey guys, welcome to day 13. I want to give you a quick rundown of what happened yesterday. I ended up catching seven pounds, five ounces for a five bass limit. That's not very much, but at least I had uh, technically a tournament bag. So last night I ran to a gas station and bought some really expensive two stroke oil motor, but luckily they had some and filled up both gas cans. So I got 12 gallons of gas today. So I'm gonna do something unusual for me. Um, the boat's running great, so I'm not afraid that it's gonna die on me because it is an old boat. But it got tuned up before I came here and it's running great and I haven't had any issues with it. So I'm gonna take it on kind of a long run and I'm gonna get out of this creek channel that is very busy this weekend and uh, getting really heavily fished. So I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna run up the lake a little bit. I'm gonna run to an area that has a lot of rocky banks and a little bit less docks, but there are some docks to float. So um, that's gonna be the pattern for today. This whole trip has been a huge quest to try to break my PV. I came close once, um, I think, to find that PV. I'm gonna have to find it out on the lake. So. Hopefully this run is worth it. I've never fished there before and hopefully it pans out. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's go get out on the water. I like turtles.
Online. It's hard for me to let go But I think that I'm finally feeling good again So hard cause I loved you But I'm finally feeling like myself All of the wounds that were opened by you are now closing I finally know how to live without hurting myself I think that I am moving on cause I do feel less broken I needed a sign, this is a sign that I'm healing I'm finally healing from you I'm finally healing from you keeper nothing to brag about but it was one pound 11 ounces I actually thought I hooked onto a log but it turned out to be a fish so it's been a huge grind so glad to finally get a keeper fish Yesterday was by far one of the most grinding, hard fishing days I've ever had in my life. I was probably competing with at least a hundred bass boats that were all probably $30,000 or more. All the fancy electronics and all that, all that jazz and I think I ended up catching fish when they weren't, so at least that's what I could tell. Um, there were some instances where they were pretty surprised when I caught a bass. You know, as soon as you catch a bass, it seems like they start to show up at that point. Um, I didn't really catch anything that was worth a hoop. I caught one keeper, and then the rest were little dinks, so I'm grinding my butt off out here trying to catch a giant but I don't know if that's gonna happen I'm running out of time and I'm kind of convinced after yesterday that the spawn already happened 
uh, I went back into a cove, it was 63 degrees back there, and just scanned around and looked for them, could not find them anywhere. And then what I did find was they about bass about this big. I don't know if they're already a couple weeks old. And anyways, I drove right into a school of feet back in a creek. So um, I don't know if that's a tell sign of them spawning already or what. But today I'm gonna go fish a golf course pond. Uh, it's one I fished already once only. One time I did fish it, it was really tough, but I did catch a three pounder. So I'm gonna give that a shot again. I brought some different setups to test this time. Uh, this is the pond with the blue colored dye in it, and let's see what I can pull out of there. Let's go. Taking off without the same mistake. K. 
Hey guys, I'm gonna do a very short day intro here. I forget, I think it's like 14, maybe 15. But uh, I'm gonna throw a swim bait around docks today. I'm switching it up, trying something different. Last ditch effort. Don't have very many more days here, so I'm going to try a swim bait around docks. Um, there's a break in between uh, storms right now, so. I'm fishing this small break window, so I'm gonna hurry up and get to it. Let's hope that uh, maybe I catch a giant soon. I hope. Let's go. I can feel the power, I can feel the power, feel the power. Yeah, money that is time and hour, time and so hours. 
Yeah, I better activate the power. I'ma activate it, gotta make it, gotta chase it. I don't care what they be saying, I'ma do it now. And I've been really safe, and I ain't giving up, and I ain't giving in. Do it now, put the dividends. I'll be on the path, I just gotta get it. Cause I got my mind on some bigger things. Oh man, I ain't gonna give in now. I just gotta live this now. I'll be gonna be when I'ma kill this stuff real quick. I'ma go take it to town, cause I gotta be that king in the ring when I'm not getting mad when I'm back with the boy. Cause I am just up on the journey, you just know that I'm just going insane. There's some things that I might see And when I do, I could never get no sleep Cause I just need to get it, man, I need to be The thing that I just painted out, man, you won't go see See my vision, I'll be in it, I'ma kill it, I'ma take it all Come in there, I'ma play it now, I'ma kill them dark, I'ma play the ball Cause I gotta go and get it, man, I really just need it Tell these guys that they can beat it I'ma give it, I'ma grab it, man, take it, never receive it I'ma make it mine, I'm explosive like a mine I've been working every time, yeah, I do it on the grind I'ma shine, I'ma shine, yeah, every single day I'ma kill this competition Cause I'm going so insane hey, hey. I don't really go as I was saying Yeah, I guess really ran through the pain But I'm just back on my path And I fixed it now It's really okay So I ain't gonna waste yeah, my chance and just my time So I'm gonna be a monster I'm a Finally did it guys The biggest bass on the lake so far 3.24 Pretty nice one Get back to Desires that I just need to go achieve. I just need to acquire. So I've been climbing up this ladder. Yes, I'm going up higher. I need to do it till the day that I might retire.
right, guys, that is it for Grand Lake, Oklahoma, and my almost three week long fishing adventure. Um, I really wanted to find bedding bass, which I didn't. I think there was a possibility that it happened right before I got there, like four or five weeks ago. And that would have made the water temperatures really cold. But um, there was an FLW tur tournament on that lake and uh, they were catching them around that time frame on beds. But when I was getting ready to leave, I noticed the shad moving back into the cove some more and uh, they were starting to get a lot more active and that's when I caught that you know that over three pounder the other day so I I think there is a possibility that the spawn might happen there within the next week or two because the water temperatures are about they shot up from 57 and they're 62 now so um, pretty ideal spawning temperatures but I've been gone for too long, I need to get back home um, and take care of some things. Overall, it was a good trip, you know, I caught quite a few three pounders and that doesn't happen much with me, so, uh, especially living in Kansas, so I know to some of you guys, you probably have big bass lakes you live near and it's a lot easier for you to catch bass like that, but it's pretty difficult for me to catch big bass in the state of Kansas. Please make sure to subscribe like these videos and I will catch you guys later. Remember get outdoors and keep fishing.